22, 2009, my aunt wakes up with an extreme headache. She gets up, she goes to the bathroom, she stumbles, she loses her balance. The left side of her face was completely numb. She just had a massive stroke. All those years of doctors telling her to get her weight under control, to get her high blood pressure, high cholesterol under control, has finally caught up to her. All those warnings, all those signs that she had in, in previous years, all those years of ignoring, have finally caught up to her and she has irreversible damage. This is similar to the problem we face every day with global warming. Every day we are faced with warning signs of a future problem, something that's irreversible that we won't be able to fix. If we take action now and start to fix the smaller problems that we are facing every day, that we can prevent a future catastrophic event that could cost the lives of millions. According to James Hansen of the according to James Hansen, author of um, Storms of My Grandchildren and um, also a prestigious uh, climatologist, he states that Global warming is not like other big uh, national issues like unemployment and um, the economy. It is a planetary emergency. According to, uh, according to Lonnie Thompson of, of, Glo of the Global Suicide Pact, of the, article pub <laughs> of, of an article published in 2009, the Global Suicide Pact, if we do not take action now, the consequences could be irreversible. So in this speech, I will be arguing in favor of um, McDermott's um, of McDermott's uh, of McDermott's bill to to uh, stop CO2 emissions from rising, and um, I will argue this uh, by first arguing that CO2 is leading to an increase in um, death rates globally. Uh, second, I will argue that. Um, that McDermott's bill will um, decrease the levels of CO2 over a period of time. And third, I will argue that uh, this bill will not be um, put extra stress on our economy. So first starting off with uh, the impact that it, tells, that it has on, um, on us as a society, on our health. Um, everywhere around the world, as CO2 levels increase, this is slowly increasing the temperature globally, and what this does, it causes droughts, famines. It's um, according to according to an article published in 2006 um, in Europe, 56 in Europe, 56,000 people died from heat-related issues associated with uh, rising temperature, and um, so not only is is um, this rise in temperature causing um, causing just problems with heat? It is also affecting our all types of climate. It is also increasing the amount of storms and blizzards we're having in the United States. Um, of the, there has been a massive increase in blizzards and storms just within the past decade, and this is costing lives, as um, uh, you've seen previously recently in the news with the hurricanes on the East Coast. Um, another issue that is happening is um, as uh, temperatures increase, the Arctic ice caps are melting, and this is causing an um, increase in the, in the sea level, and this is affecting all populations on the coast. And uh, this also, this is making the coastlines um, almost unlivable. So, uh, we actually need to take action in order to prevent any future damage to the coastline areas and prevent this from happening. So um, I will go on to discussing a little bit on how how the um, how McDermott's bill will decrease CO2 emissions level and what it will do. It will place it will place a carbon tax on uh, CO2 emissions and how this will be helpful is that um, it will start at 1250 per ton of CO2 and um, as um, innovations increase uh, this this tax will increase as well which will make which will discourage uh, big industries and companies from actually uh, wanting to uh, continue to use CO2 they're actually going to want to start using more innovative more innovative energy efficient solutions because this will um, 
Uh, this will prevent them from having to actually pay the tax. And this is important because um, what CO2 does, it's a greenhouse gas. And greenhouse gases, um, as they build up in the atmosphere, as solar, radi solar radiation and ultraviolet rays pass through it, uh, while some is reflected from the earth, a lot of it gets trapped by greenhouse gases, CO2 being one of them. And um, within recent years, CO2 emissions has increased dramatically. Just since 1993, CO2 levels have increased by 36%. And this might not seem like a lot, but in the long run, if this continues, it can have dramatic effects on our climate. Um, so now that you know a little bit about uh, now that you know a little bit about um, McDermott's bill for uh, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, um, I'm going to tell you a little bit. I'm going to argue that that the greenhouse that McDermott's bill is not um, is not going to put stress on the economy, and the reason why is going to can actually stimulate the economy by uh, actually uh, uh, giving back 20, actually putting 25% of uh, the money raised from the tax to um, to uh, stabilizing the deficit, and um, the other 75 will actually be given back to to uh, taxpayers and stuff who are and low income. Low income people of low income who will be negatively affected are actually going to get some money back. So this is going to help stimulate the economy and uh, be beneficial for a lot of people. So, um, so in this speech, I discussed three points. I discussed that um, that uh, global warming is uh, increasing death rate. Death rates it is negatively uh, affecting uh, the. And is negatively affecting the population. And uh, secondly, I argued that McDermott's bill um, uh, will will decrease CO2 levels over a period of time. And uh, thirdly, I just I argued that it will not put extra stress on the economy. So now that you know a little bit more about what's going on in our world today, uh, hopefully you will make the right decision and take action rather than wait on global warming and let it escalate into an issue that will have irreversible consequences and be an issue that we can no longer contain. So take, take action now on smaller things and um, to prevent our grandchildren and future generations from having to deal with bigger issues. Thank you.